So this is the Django application that we have dockerized. Now this is just a basic, uh, just we have started the project. You can have your own project in here. So let's get into the explanation of how it is done. All right, so first of all, we have this code in the website or in GitHub. You can check the code. You can copy paste from the link in the description below, or you can just pull from our GitHub repository. So let's see what all we have done. So first of all, it's very simple. The basic things is very simple. First of all, we have our Django project here, right? So we have our manage.py here. We have our uh, data folder here. In this data folder, we have this uh, data folder here because this is where we'll our, all our database data will be stored. Because if we don't do this, we don't use volumes. If we store this inside our Docker container, this will this is not persistent. This will be lost. All right. So let's go over this uh, directory over uh, once more. So we have this basic folder here, root folder. Inside this folder, we have our Docker file and we have our compose file and we have our Django project and we have our data folder where we will be storing data for the database. All right, so let's first see what do we need to do in the Docker file. Now this is pretty simple one, so you can have an idea of how this is done using uh, how a project, a Django project can be deployed using Docker and Postgre. First of all, uh, we define the base image, that is we are using a Python 3 image. All right, then we set our work directory inside our image into slash code. So if you log into uh, the running container, all the code will be inside slash code. All right, the directory where uh, we are right now. So what we do is we copy this in the correct directory. We copy the wish Django project and, and uh, requirements, not and the requirements of txt inside our wish Django project that is here. We have a requirements.txt here, right? This requirements.txt, we copy this inside code, slash code slash. So we copy this inside uh, requirement inside our uh, code folder in the image, right? So right now we are in the work. Now we are in code directory inside the image. So that is where we copy our requirement, and we finally just install uh, pip install dash r requirements so that is since uh, all our code that we have will be in Django we will need Django to run it so we install Django and we install psy copy g to uh, connect with so we are just installing these two right now because this is just the basic Django uh, start project okay you don't have uh, I, don't, I don't have any apps here so if you have apps you will have to install uh, requirements according to what you have used in your project but instead of this basic start project or basic project template that generate Django generates itself you can have your own project here okay so this is all we are doing in docker file so we are just creating a work directory copying requirements into code and just installing the requirements all right now what else do we have here so once that is done now we also need to use Postgres setup And Docker file for we are just you going to using we are just going to be using an empty database the default one uh, so the default image will be fine for that so that's why we have not we don't have a Docker file for that uh, otherwise different project for database and that will have its own. service we define the image Our repository uh, so we don't have this image locally anywhere right and we define volume so what we do is this data DB that is data DB is mapped to var slash lib slash postgres slash data so whatever is stored here uh, postgres actually stores data inside this directory in Linux, okay. So it stores all its data in uh, var lib postgres slash data. But if we don't do this, it will uh, ever store that. It will work. But if we restart or if we stop the container, 
and this will be lost so that's why we need to do this mapping so whatever is stored here will be stored here okay and whatever we do inside here will be reflected inside here so if we delete and data from data slash uh, db it will be deleted from inside the container also now in the environment we need to set default database name username and password name that we set here and it, it is automatically by default read inside this image and is used as database user and password so that is all for the database now we need to use this database in our uh, django project right so what we do is first of all we build dot so that uh, this an image is built from this docker file so image our image will be built from this docker file and then once it's built this is the command is the start command that will be right we can do it outside we have number 80 and that will match for 88000 inside our now which eight thousand all right so this is the actually this is the port that users will use in our browser so right now if i put it 80 we put 80 here if we put 801 here we put 801 here all right so that is the port that is mapped to our container so basically this is in our host machine this is and this is in, in the con container so this is what is public and this is what is inside our container all right so we do that and again we use this uh, environments here environment variables here because let me show you one thing in the settings file connect to database we are doing this os.environment.get postgres name os.environment.get postgres user os.environment.get postgres pwd so if you have something like uh, db name here you'll have to write db name here because this is the environment this we are setting the environment variable here so right now to connect to database what we'll be doing is we will be connecting to this uh database database is created here and the uh, database name username and password are are these things right postgres, postgres, postgres. that's what we are doing here this database user postgres and the password is also postgres um, but the actual host that here uh, something like this db user equals to D, uh, db or something like this db and import i'm writing three uh, five four three two so these are the uh enough have, have local host or an ip here right or an ip here but since this is a container container this writing this to the file it is automatically, automatically mapped to the IP of this image all right so let's remove this and let's see if we are using db name in our settings of file we are using db name yeah and this is the default uh, that is uh, no special thing there and then we just see it depends on db Depends on the it depends on the service DB. Our service name here is so our web service depends on DB. So this will be built after DB. Alright, so once DB is built, our web is built. Alright, that is all.